Navigation buoy 16A is located just off the point on which the campsite sits. I don't believe that's lighted at night. The shore to the west of the campsite is extremely rocky. It's almost like crushed stone with boulders laying on top of it. We're to the east of campsite 3. There's a nice bedrock outcrop. I do this right, I can step out and not bang up my canoe too much. Here where the slope is gentlest. Whoa, but it is slippery. I have my canoe up on shore at campsite 3 in Cranberry Lake, New York. There's a sizable pile of scat here. One of the nice things here at campsite 3 is you have some exposed bedrock. When you get to camp you can drop your pack on that rather than leaning it up against one of the pine trees and maybe getting it sappy putting it on the ground which may be wet. Like today, it rained all morning so this ground is pretty damp. There's no puddles so the site's really well drained. This site, because it's so fairly open in front, will have direct sun for a fair portion of the day into the afternoon. Could make it a fairly warm campsite in the summer. It would be very nice for swimming. You have a beautiful view you're going to have wonderful breezes up the length of the lake. Tonight's dinner is Shrimp Whimsy by Hawk Vittles. 560 calories. And there we go. Shrimp Whimsy. This is really nice. It's a little sweet. It's a little hot. I brought along a little pack of Tabasco to put in there, but I don't think it needs it. There are some good places to hang hammocks here at Campsite 3. They'll be a little bit close to the fire ring if you like to have a fire at night. As you can see, the clearing for the camping area is fairly small. Prevailing winds are going to come from the southwest, or the west, right up the lake over this point. One of the things you have to be careful of, especially if you have small children, although it's nice that the site sits very high up above the water in some ways, it's quite a drop. I've walked around the hill behind the campsite. It's a fairly steep hill and in a torrential rain you might get some runoff down a little trail that leads up the hill into the campsite. But this seems to be a fairly well drained area. I did not find a sign pointing the way to a privy or a privy anywhere around the campsite. I don't see a lot of really great places for a bear hang. 